striper. hooking him so hopefully he'll bite again. That's a good sign. Oh. You're gonna drag slip too. Touching 14. Barely. Are you touching? Uh, let's start. Oh, damn jig might put me one on. That part ain't got no more of them trailers. That's the last one. And them Christy crawls. Feels good to be bit though. On the bottom. I'm gonna catch him today. Oh, that's a keeper. Should. Close your mouth. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it'll keep. It ain't big, we ain't got no big ones yet, but it's a start. Whole trick one. Damn pattern we had is all week. Been a crankbait, we out here throwing a dang trick worm and a jig. That's what I love doing, so I don't mind. There's gonna be a big one somewhere to bite this worm. Caught more in the past two tournaments. I don't need one more because we caught two in one tournament. I call him out here, so I'm gonna have to start working it all the way to the boat, I guess. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of stuff to run. Now, <laughs> go back there, there. At least until we get five.
tall, Steven. Are you tall? Huh? Yeah. I felt like a really good. Well, he still got it or not? I fucking felt nothing. Must have dropped it. Keep. Maybe. Let's keep her. Keep it down, keep it down. Oh, you mother. <laughs> All right, guys, so back home now. I didn't really record the rest of the tournament. Got kind of aggravated, as you do sometimes. But, I mean, it happens to us all. It's first tournament of the year. And honestly, what we were on in practice... Actually, I'm going to cut to another segment. And I'm actually show you all what we were on in practice versus what we ended up doing. So, give me one minute. But, check the link right there. You want to help out the channel, and if you want to know the spots that I'm catching them on, there is a tier for that. It's 25 bucks. Every other week, I'm posting screenshots of the depth finder, and I'm actually, if I get enough Patreons for that spot, I'm going to make in-depth videos on how to fish certain spots of the lake and where the brush piles are for crappy. If you want those and bass fishing, where the point is, where the point runs out, where's the good structure, all of that. If you're interested in that, check it out below. It's something I'm trying to do. Tournament fishing isn't cheap life isn't cheap this video is free but if you can't contribute just hit the subscribe button for me that'd be the most to me but if you can it'll help out a lot anyways i'm gonna pull up navionics and we're gonna go over what we were doing in practice so our original what we found in practice was we were throwing my brother was throwing a red eye shad and i was throwing just a little cotton cordell uh red and lipless in the back of this pocket right here, this is an amazing spawning flat right here. And when we went back there, it was about 12-ish. But the water was on a heating trend during the week of practice. You know, it was kind of warm. It's warming up. I mean, the water got up to like 53, 54. But we came back here and almost every cast we were catching one. But I think we caught about six before we left. Which, I mean, we probably shouldn't have called those, you know, being as it was practice, but we did. But when we came back here during the tournament, it was dead. Nothing. But what we ended up doing, when we came around the bend right here, because, I mean, originally we were going to fish this river part right here, because, I mean, that's where we have a lot of confidence. When we came to this point right here, as you can see when I caught the striper at the beginning, this light on this dock was on. And... You know, we threw crankbait, threw crankbait, caught the striper, threw crankbaits. I mean, we spent 30 minutes throwing cranks and nothing. And on the graph, I mean, I could see bait fish. I knew the fish were there. Ended up doing I tossed a brush hog in front of the dock. I worked it very, very slow. What it was, it was a cold snap. That morning it was colder than it has been all week. The fish got locked off. Out of all the boats we, we had, only nine people weighed in, and I think maybe two or three limits were weighed in like five fish so the four fish that we caught i mean that was a blessing slash fishing the conditions yeah we didn't stick no big ones but we adapted to they weren't on the crankbait bite like they were and we ended up picking up a texas rig and a jig and just working docks really slow they were on the outside and in the middle 
Uh, if the sun would have peaked up, I believe the dock bite would have increased, but it didn't. Uh, in reality, if I could go back, I would probably, like, for instance, this dock, I would come out here to this hump and throw towards the dock and work it back to the boat, or even this point right here, because I believe they they moved out just a little bit to where they were originally. Now, the fish we caught, the keepers we caught, I caught one here, and we caught one in the original cove where we found them in practice. I want to say I caught it right in here and a few more around this area but this area right here is where we caught all the fish I mean we tried a couple spots around here got a bite or two but never connected with anything I mean that's just how tournament fishing goes but uh, we, we weighed in I think four pounds which is awesome <laughs> I mean we did better than a lot of people I can't complain about that but we got another tournament coming up for Jackson Farm, uh, March 24th. So definitely going to be fishing that. Hopefully the water will warm up and, you know, old froggy frog will be throwing around. But hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit that subscribe button for me. Share this video on Facebook for anybody else. And good luck to all the kayak fishermen probably watching this video. If I were y'all, I would still throw a red, red crankbait. So... Uh, and check out the Patreon down below. Even if you don't want like the $25 one, the $5 a month one is just awesome. Uh, Britt, Britt Wells, big Patreon I got so far. He's been consistent every month helping me out. I mean, that it's a little bit of money, but that little bit of money puts gas in the boat, puts gas in the truck, lets me get out there. Um, I want to do more videos this year. I'm thinking about buying a kayak myself. So definitely, definitely going to be doing it. I know I've been slow releasing videos, but honestly, I don't know if you guys would enjoy watching the same things that I do like on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, I'm on the water. Don't get me wrong. Like almost every day I'm on the water, whether I'm crappy fishing, taking somebody out crappy fishing or, you know, bass fishing, practicing. It's just, I mean, it's a repetitive process when you fish around the same areas. I mean, I don't really have the funds to like, branch off just yet. You know, when the channel grows, we're almost at a thousand subscribers, start getting a little bit of income from YouTube. And we'll see where the channel goes. But anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all checking me out. And I'll give you a big yee, yee. And hopefully we can do better in the next tournament.